Hey guys, if you're into your wallpaper, your desktop wallpaper, then I've got a freeware application you can use to actually switch your wallpaper for you. Now, I know these have been around for a, for a while now, like web shots and stuff like that, but they were a bit of a pain. You used to have uh, adverts and stuff like that. You don't get none of that with this program. You can get it from this uh, website here. I will put the link up in my description. Um, but it's called John's Background Switcher, uh, version 4.1. And what it does is it actually changes all the backgrounds uh, for you without having to do it yourself. It'll also make nice montages out of your wallpaper if you want to without even uh, doing any of it yourself. It does it automatically for you. So it's got that little effect as you can see on the screen there. It does quite a few nice effects with all your photographs. So you can actually download it for free. It's a freeware program. It works on uh, all operating systems apart from Windows 7 Starter Edition. Uh, so that pretty much covers all the operating systems and you will need to download uh, the Microsoft uh, .NET 2.0 to actually run the application. You can make a nice free donation to the guy here who's made it which is uh, John Connor I think his name is or John Corner something like that. Well, let's have a look at uh, Connor's. Uh, there you go. So let's have a little look at the program itself. Well, this is a program if I click on this button here this little round circle basically what it will do is it will change it manually itself um, if I wanted a force to change it will change like so if I wanted to it would automatically do it for you you don't have to click on that to change it it does it automatically but if you come in here you can see right click on it and you can actually see a load of nice uh, easy uh, usable uh, user interface here you can actually use and uh, also go to settings and now I've only got 26 wallpapers here high definition wallpapers but you can actually add as many as you like really um, so you just have to click on this tab here and add from a folder on my computer like so and I'm going to actually come to um, where is it uh, I need to go to my C drive there we go and I'm going to go here and I'm going to go into my wallpapers like so now if I went in here I can actually add whatever I like okay so if I wanted to add say for instance uh, uh, say Canada or something of that nature I can actually add these in okay so if I wanted to add say South Africa I click these in and that would now add South Africa okay so it's as simple as that really so I could just keep adding whatever I like all different types of wallpaper now also what you've got is you've got the more tab here if you click on this this will give you full control of the the actual software itself you can make all the changes that you need in here that you want also you've got advanced obviously you've got advanced options here which will change all the settings that if you want to change these and also montages you can actually set this up to exactly how you want it if you want to have montages at your wallpaper okay now let's have a little look at some of the other stuff here you've got picture handling uh, picture sources uh, pretty much you can play around a bit when you get hold of it yourself I'm not going to go right away through everything but um, it pretty much does what it says on the tin bin. you install it put your pictures in there and they automatically change okay so that's uh click OK for that and I'm just going to click on on this and what will happen is it'll just automatically change like so okay so I hope you've enjoyed this uh, video my name is Brian from brightech.co.uk I will put the link up on, on my description for the download for that program uh, if you haven't if you haven't registered on my forum yet you can actually come over to this web address here and actually register on my forum for free and put all your questions in here because it's going to be much easier for me to answer your questions on this forum than it will be on YouTube because some people aren't getting their questions answered and I can't keep up with them okay so it's best to post it in here anyway so thanks for subscribing to my channel I've got nearly a thousand people now that actually subscribed so thanks to everyone who subscribed and uh, keep your subscriptions coming so uh, bye for now